Hey guys, it's Miss Lushes back here. I know I said I was going to do that um, review for you for the facial cleanser slash makeup remover. Now's the time. As you can see, I'm wearing, you know, lipstick, red lipstick. I have, you know, eyeliner and mascara on, my eyebrows on. I have foundation on, some contouring, some blush. So... Um, before I go to bed, I want to show you kind of what I'm doing with this whole cleanser thing and completely ignore, you know, my hair wrap like I'm good to go for bed. I'm ready. So um, let me first say what I'm wearing on my lips is the Revlon lip lipstick that I showed you in the previous video. And it's the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede. And they were not kidding about this color stay situation because I put it on this morning and literally it's like... It's coming off now, but it's already because I kind of prepped my lips a little bit to try to get it off. But if it dries, it's like on there, like nothing comes off on your finger. So um, I will just kind of show you guys. And I also wore this with it. This is Revlon. I think it's, this is an older one that I have. I think it's the Infallible, Infallible Lip Gloss. I love this and because the Revlon color say it dries and then it just stays on kind of like paint um, I like to have a glossy look so I put this on top all day but literally this has been on all day okay so I'm gonna kind of do this side and show you guys how it looks so this is the product I was talking about this is the so totally clean micellar cleansing water and it's a sensitive formula now I got this at Ulta like I said with my little um, gift card that I got and this is what the bottle says designed with a blend of botanical extracts to nourish your skin this fragrance free micellar cleanser at attracts and carries away dirt makeup and stubborn pore clogging oils gentle enough for daily use without the need to rinse your face will be smooth, toned, and so totally clean. And that's what like the little blurb is right here. Now, obviously the back are like the directions to kind of show you, ooh, sorry, um, what you should do with it. And it basically says, apply to cotton pad and wipe over face and neck, safe for use around eye area, no need to rinse, for best results use in the morning and at night. Now I don't use it in the morning because like I'm kind of ready to go in the morning. So I very, I have like a quick little um, facial cleansing routine that I do in the morning so that my face is ready to go for makeup and everything. And this is not part of my routine yet. I'll consider making it part of my routine, but for right now it's more like really trying to get my makeup and all the dirt and grime of the day off my face. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do with that. And then I'm gonna kind of show you like to check to see if my face is clean. The other cleanser that I like to use. Well, I have two that I like. This one's almost gone. This is the Bior, Biore Free Your Pores. It's Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. And this is like pretty much gone. Like as you can see, like it's a pump one so you can barely get that last bit out. And I was using this and I really like this because, you know, even if I had makeup on and I just put this right on my face, it would get pretty much most of the makeup off. My, fin my skin would feel so nice and smooth. So I love that. But when I started running out, I ran, I went to get it and it was all out. I think I was at Target and it was all out. So I grabbed something different. This is the Garnier Skin Active. It says new on it, clean, shine control, cleansing gel. Removes excess oil, mattifies skin, oil skin, and it's charcoal and methanol, and it says oil free, and it's basically relatively the same as the Biore. It just um, it's a little different. I like it. It's a little thinner consistency, and this is what I've been using. You can see I've been using you know it for a little bit now, and. I use it. It helps remove the makeup and dirt and like my skin feels really soft after but it doesn't feel dried out where I have to like immediately moisturize. So I'll show you after I use this 
I this is good I just like to be really really clean especially like my face to be really clean so I will use this and then I'm gonna kind of go over with the Garnier so I'll show you guys that as quick as I can we're already five minutes into the video so I'm just gonna dive right in and I got my little cotton rounds here that I'm gonna do the so totally clean with and I'm just gonna dribble dribble some on there get it like a little wet and I'm gonna do this side of my face okay so I'm gonna put it on my eye and just let it sit there a minute and let it kind of soak in and like I keep telling you guys let me know what you think of videos like this because I okay you could already see already I just let it sit on my eye and look at this eye like the eyeshadow is completely gone and look at this eye and look at the pad and I didn't even really rub I just kind of left it on my eye and that was it so I bet you if I had did the corner that eyeliner would have came right off look at that okay like as if I didn't even have makeup on this eye today like that's how quickly and the brown is like you know my mask uh, my, my foundation around my eye and everything and I'm just gonna do the rest Get my eyebrows. Okay. And it's hard to tell because I really wear foundation because I just like the even look of it. But I don't actually like, not to sound conceited, but I don't actually need it, need it. I just like the finished, polished look that it gives me. And like, seriously, look at this it's like trapping all the dirt and you can kind of see it even in the back and it's not dirt it's mainly makeup you know but it's trapping it all and I'll probably use two pads on each side but like look even like my mascara is like off my lashes okay like there it is and we'll just do like a little Rub, sorry, I always leave my mouth open when I'm doing this. I don't know why. And ah, uh, I guess. Okay, that's just with one little cotton pad. That's how dirty it gets, and it's it's just taking off all the makeup. So you can look and see already, like this half of my face, no makeup. My brows are like gone. My mascara for, is like coming off. It's not all the way off, but I do like several coats of mascara, so. And then this side. And you know what I didn't do? I didn't do my lips, so I'm just gonna take the, the pad and do like. Half my lip there, okay? And that's the color say that I told you is like trying. And you can clearly see like this half where the lipstick still is and this half where it's pretty much gone. And it's just coming right off like no problem. So you see like the before with my makeup on and the after with the so totally clean. I'm gonna do the rest of my face. I'm gonna get another swab here. And normally, you know, the video's gonna be a little, a bit long because I'm talking to you guys and I'm not like just taking my makeup right off like I would if I was just by myself here. So I'm gonna do that. Mm, wipe right off my lips, you know? Because either way, I'm going to go over my face again, just to be sure. And thorough, like I said. I feel like just, I, I like to stick to the same skin regimen that I always do. And usually the first thing it involves is um, removing my makeup really, really well. Because if I don't get the makeup off and then I'm doing all this other shit to my skin, like I'm going to wind up looking like just riddled in acne probably. I've never really had like an acne issue. Occasionally I'll get like a pimple out of the blue or something. 
and it'll be like under the skin and kind of hang out there for a fucking like week but I basically for the most part don't do that and that's why I try to stick to the same regimen all the time because I figure whatever I'm doing it works for me and my skin type okay and this is this one like look at all that makeup you can see like the dark where my mascara and my eyeliner were the brown is all like the foundation and for the most part, like they say after this part, you can basically be done and go to bed just like this. However, like I told you guys, I'm going to put this away. So totally clean. So it so totally works. Um, I'm going to do, like I said I was going to do, I was going to do two cotton swabs, but I'm not because I'm just going to wash my face with the Garnier, like I said. And what I do with this, the direction just basically tell you wet your hands and face, pump gel into hands and gently massage onto face, rinse with water. Now sometimes if I have time, like I'll do this, like I'm, I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to show you guys, but I would put it on my face and then I hop in the shower. I like to do my face routine out of the shower so I know what's going on. I can just really see and make sure it's nice and crisp and clean. So what I'm going to do is just run the water. And you want to use like warm water on your face because that opens your pores up. That way you can get like use the cleanser to actually get the dirt out. And then when you're done um, rinsing and all that, you can kind of use like a cool cloth or something just to kind of close your pores so they don't continue to like catch and trap up dirt. Even if you're just, you know, lounging around the house or going to bed. Sorry, my water is taking a minute to get warm. I want it to be warm to show you guys this. I have like a little cotton on my cheek. Okay, so the water is warm. I'm just going to wet my face a bit. Okay, so clearly my face is wet. Let me, one second, okay? Need a rag to dry my face. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I had to grab the rag here. Okay, so my face is wet, warm. I'm just going to take this, pop about like two, ooh, two crazy squirts. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's just like a, a, a clearish gray consistency. It just looks really dark when it's all together, but it's really not. I'm just going to rub my hands into like a lather, okay, and we're just gonna put it on. I like, I have a little scrubby thing that I use once in a while, not all the time. And I'll probably use it if I was just gonna leave it on my face for a little bit. And I really try to get around my nose because, you know, the, they say the charcoal helps like blackheads. And I find that when I wear makeup like every day um, with foundation and concealer and all that stuff, that my nose gets really like shiny and then I feel like blackheads start to form and stuff. And especially when it's hot out, but this week is not supposed to be hot, so... It's supposed to be like maybe high 60s or something. And I really just, I like to get it in really good. And normally the thing I was going to tell you that I use, ignore my armpit, is this little like, it's like a little silicone thing. It's like little hairs on it you see. And I'd use that to kind of scrub my face. I'm not going to do it this time. Now what I'm going to do now that I have it all on my face. And I kind of feel like it's going to get whatever makeup is left behind off. I'm going to just wet a rag. With nice warm hot water. I really like hot water so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to just... Start wiping it away. And like if I wasn't on the video with you guys, I would have definitely rubbed it even like with my eyes closed on my eyelids and everything. 
to try to get that mas last bit of the mascara off. Mascara is always the one thing that like wants to just stay on my face. And for the most part, I'm going to show you the rag. There's not really like, you guys can't really tell, but there's not really anything on it. Like there's a little tinge of like foundation that I see a little left, but that's after the makeup remover and now after the charcoal cleanser. Okay. And that lipstick, this, this Revlon color stay, it really be trying to stay because I still see like a little, little, little hint of it on my lips. But, okay. Okay, guys. I really rub my eyes because I just, I hate when the mascara, I love mascara. I feel like my lashes look short and just curly and I love to like use the lengthening volume mascaras and stuff. But I just feel like it never comes off for like days. And it's not even the waterproof one, okay? I'm really just going to rub my nose because, like I said, I always feel like my nose gets really... Okay, so there you have it. We have officially, you know, rinsed with the... So totally clean micellar cleansing water to remove our makeup and then we finished with the Garnier Skin Active Clean Shine Control Cleansing Gel and it's like a charcoal and so far I'm going to say and I did when I rinsed that last rinse I kind of just did the cool feeling so I'm just gonna pat my face dry Okay, so there we have it. You know the fact that my eyebrows are like non-existent right now? I'm like looking crazy, but look at my skin now. I'm gonna kind of move the camera for a minute so you guys can really see with like light. Cotton. I swear the cotton just wants to stay with me. And you can see, see, like, I still have a little of that color stay on my lips. It's just, it's just trying to hang out with me. That's fine. I'll get it off, like, when I do my shower. But, um, this is the end result. So, I totally agree that the So Totally Clean cleans your face and removes that makeup relatively well. And I believe it's only $5.99 at Ulta. And then the Garnier Skin Active is like a great follow-up because right now my skin doesn't feel overworked it doesn't feel dry it actually feels like smooth to me and like I will follow up with um some type of moisturizer something a little bit just a little bit because I don't like to put all kinds of crazy moisturizers on my face I don't want it to irritate my skin in any way but let me know what you guys think of me doing videos like this of just like my nightly routines things that I do um and then I'll continue to do them. So please like and subscribe to my channel, Miss Luscious. And I will be back with some other products that I use um, on a regular basis. Maybe I'll show you some hair products. Not today, another day. Maybe tomorrow I'll do a hair product video. And kind of show you what I do with my mop that I got under here. Until next time, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.